Now with arthritis in the knee, like on certain types of arthritis I get are autoimmune. This will help with those people too, with their knee? So, you know, when you're talking about an autoimmune arthritis, you're usually thinking about something like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and this, this can help with that particular joint. It's not gonna help the entire systemic disease. What we're typically seeing more than uh, autoimmune arthritis is what's called osteoarthritis. That's the uh, arthritis of, the, of aging. Uh, so okay. it's a degenerating condition. Usually there's problems with the cartilage, with the underlying bone, with the ligaments are a little loose. Often there's meniscus problems with that. We treat that every day, all day. That's one of the main things that we're treating. We see great results with that. Even people, and most of the people are actually knee replacement candidates. They've been told that that's their only option. Uh, and it's not true. What we're doing is helping them. We, we, we're probably preventing at least 70% of these surgeries. Uh, people need to understand that okay. there's another option, that this is less invasive, less risky, and they can have actually quite good results. I, I'll put you on the spot here, and I know this is just your opinion, but of the thousands or hundreds of thousands or a million knee replacements, replacements that are being done here in the U.S., of those, what's your estimate? If you could have caught them early enough and used this therapy, how many of those could have been avoided, in your opinion? You know, we have data on this because the people coming okay. to see us are knee replacement candidates. Uh, and those patients, 90% of them are telling us that they feel better enough that they don't need that, that knee replacement. And that, and that seems to be sustained. We have less than 10%. So it's great for knees. It works great for knees, yes.